news. It's time for in other news. We take a look at the news stories that may not be on your radar, but they should be. Towson University is on the lookout for a woman who's been walking around campus scouting out dates for her son. Now, the woman, who's described as being in her 50s, approached female students and proceeded to show them pictures of her son in her phone. Police released images of the woman. Woo! Woo! Not my mom. <laughs> All right, that was a close call. Every woman who went to National <laughs> Cathedral School or Columbia University knows my mom funny. personally. Now, I wish we knew the son's name, but I, to you, I want to say, I'm sorry, dog. I've been there. <laughs> now, this next story doesn't get any better for you either. Users from the dating app Coffee Meets Bagel found out on Valentine's Day that there had been a data breach. And can you imagine getting a notification and hoping it was somebody who wants to holler at you on Valentine's Day? and it's just a company telling you your data's been compromised. That's the equivalent of waking up to a text message notification and it's just Sprint saying to pay your bill. Now, speaking of ruining Valentine's Day, Kim Kardashian was surprised when Kenny G played saxophone for her in a room full of roses. Here is a taste of the performance. Sorry, it was a whole sedative. I thought it was longer than that. Now, thank you. The whole audience fell asleep just now. <laughs> now, was your Valentine's gift as good as Kenny G and Roses? Let us know what you got with the hashtag GetUpDC. I know it was a lot of guys in trouble for their Valentine's Day gift, but after seeing this, they out the doghouse. It is 610, 51 degrees. Coming up on GetUpDC.